Welcome viewers, our topic today is on the applications of carbon nanoparticles. If you are new here, welcome, we are a group of retired professors sharing bite-sized videos in life sciences. Let's dive into the topic for today. Introduction Carbon dots, also known as carbon nanoparticles, are a type of nanomaterial made from carbon atoms. They have unique optical and electronic properties that make them useful in a variety of applications, such as bioimaging, sensing, and energy storage. Synthesis of Carbon Dots The synthesis of carbon dots is a relatively simple process, involving the hydrothermal or microwave treatment of various precursors, such as sugars, polymers, or biomolecules. The resulting carbon dots are typically small, with diameters ranging from a few nanometers to a few tens of nanometers. Carbon dots can be synthesized using various methods, including hydrothermal synthesis, microwave synthesis, and solvathermal synthesis. Hydrothermal synthesis Hydrothermal synthesis involves heating a precursor material, such as a sugar or a polymer, in a high-pressure, high-temperature water-based solution. This process leads to the formation of carbon dots through the decomposition of the precursor material. Hydrothermal synthesis is a relatively simple and scalable method, and it can be used to produce carbon dots with a wide range of sizes and shapes. Microwave synthesis Microwave synthesis is another method for synthesizing carbon dots. It involves heating a precursor material in a microwave oven. This process leads to the formation of carbon dots through the decomposition of the precursor material. The main advantage of this method is that it is faster and more energy efficient than hydrothermal synthesis. However, the size and shape of the carbon dots produced by microwave synthesis are more difficult to control than those produced by hydrothermal synthesis. Solvathermal synthesis Solvathermal synthesis is similar to hydrothermal synthesis, but it uses a solvent other than water to form carbon dots, such as ethanol, methanol, and N-N-dimethylformamide. This method allows to produce carbon dots with higher fluorescence and stability than hydrothermal synthesis or microwave synthesis. It is worth noting that different synthesis methods can be combined to achieve a desired outcome, such as hydrothermal microwave synthesis, which can improve the quality of carbon dots. Carbon dots for strong fluorescence One of the key properties of carbon dots is their strong fluorescence, which can be tuned by controlling the size and structure of the particles. This makes them useful as bioimaging agents, as they can be used to label cells and other biomolecules with high specificity and sensitivity. They have been used to image cancer cells, bacteria, and viruses, among other applications. Carbon dots for sensing Carbon dots have been used to detect various analytes, such as heavy metals, pesticides, and biomolecules, and they have been shown to be highly sensitive to small changes in their environment. Their small size and high surface area make them highly sensitive to small changes in their environment, which is useful for sensing applications. This makes them useful for sensing applications in fields such as environmental monitoring, food safety, and medical diagnostics. Carbon Dots for Bioelectronics Another area of research that is gaining attention is the use of carbon dots in bioelectronics. Carbon dots can be used to create more sensitive and selective biosensors, which could be used to detect a wide range of biomolecules, such as glucose, DNA, and proteins. Additionally, carbon dots can be used to create more efficient and biocompatible electronic devices, such as implantable medical devices. Carbon dots for water treatment Another promising area is the use of carbon dots in water treatment. Carbon dots can be used to remove heavy metals, dyes, and other pollutants from water. This is due to their high adsorption capacity, chemical stability, and low toxicity. Carbon dots for optical properties in addition to their optical properties, carbon dots also have interesting electronic properties, such as high conductivity and high charge carrier mobility. 
These properties make them useful in energy storage applications, such as lithium-ion batteries and supercapacitors. Carbon Dots for Photovoltaics One area of research that is gaining attention is the use of carbon dots in photovoltaics. Carbon dots have been shown to improve the efficiency of solar cells by absorbing light at wavelengths that are not typically absorbed by traditional solar cell materials. Additionally, Carbon dots can be used to create more flexible and lightweight solar cells, which could be integrated into portable electronic devices and buildings. Challenges There are also some challenges and limitations to using carbon dots in these applications. One of the main challenges is controlling the size, shape, and composition of the particles, as these factors can greatly affect their properties. Additionally, the toxicity and environmental impact of carbon dots is not well understood, and more research is needed to ensure their safe use. Comparison of carbon dots with other nanoparticles Carbon dots can be compared with other nanoparticles, such as quantum dots, metal nanoparticles, and graphene, in terms of their properties and potential applications. Quantum dots Quantum dots are similar to carbon dots in that they are both small, fluorescent nanoparticles. However, quantum dots are typically made from semiconductor materials, such as cadmium selenide, while carbon dots are made from carbon atoms. As a result, quantum dots have a more complex electronic structure and a wider range of optical properties than carbon dots. They also have a higher toxicity level than carbon dots. Metal nanoparticles Metal nanoparticles, such as gold and silver nanoparticles, have unique optical properties, such as plasmonic resonances, which can be used for sensing and imaging applications. However, they have a higher toxicity level than carbon dots. Carbon dots have a lower toxicity level and a higher biocompatibility than metal nanoparticles. Graphene Graphene is a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a hexagonal lattice. It has high electrical and thermal conductivity, and high mechanical strength. Graphene has many potential applications, such as in electronics, energy storage, and sensing. However, it is not fluorescent, unlike carbon dots. Carbon dots have the added advantage of fluorescence, which can be used in bioimaging and sensing applications. The future prospects of carbon dots research and commercialization are promising, as they have a wide range of potential applications in various fields such as bioimaging, sensing, and energy storage. Scientists and engineers are continuing to explore new ways to harness the unique properties of these nanoparticles. Bioimaging One of the most promising areas of research for carbon dots is bioimaging. Carbon dots have been shown to be highly effective as bioimaging agents, and they have been used to image cancer cells, bacteria, and viruses. As research in this area continues to progress, it is likely that carbon dots will be increasingly used in medical diagnostics and treatment. Carbon dots in energy storage In the field of energy storage, carbon dots have been used in lithium-ion batteries and supercapacitors. They have been shown to improve the capacity and cycling stability of batteries. As the demand for energy storage solutions continues to grow, research into the use of carbon dots in energy storage will become more important. Commercialization The commercialization of carbon dots is still in its early stages, but there is a growing interest in the potential applications of these nanoparticles. Companies are starting to invest in research and development of carbon dots, and it is expected that the market for carbon dots will continue to grow in the coming years. It is worth noting that the commercialization and regulations of carbon dots is still in its early stages, therefore, more research is needed to ensure their safe use and to develop the necessary regulations that must be met before they are used in commercial applications. Summary Overall, Carbon dot technology has a wide range of potential applications that could have a significant impact on many areas of our lives, from energy production and storage to healthcare, environmental protection, and many more. As research in this field continues to progress, it is likely
that carbon dots will play an increasingly important role in shaping the future of technology. Further, research is needed to fully realize their potential and address any challenges and limitations.